Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to go shopping at a huge tack auction. There should be vendors there from 10 plus states. I'll put the flyer right here, but get ready to go tack shopping with me. Okay, we're here and it is very busy. This sale is held at an indoor arena and the door we walked through had stalls right inside of it. So all these vendors that we are looking at first are either in the stalls or in the alleyways. There were a lot of people back here because it was right by the door, so we didn't spend too much time looking back here, but we did come back to it later. The first stuff we looked at was all definitely new and it was being sold for a really high price. It was definitely like a tack shop and everything looked so nice, I just wanted to buy it all. Some of the stuff at the sale was new, but a lot of it was definitely used, but that was what we came here to look at to get some good deals on some tack. As we were walking by, we saw these little Aussie puppies and they were so adorable. We will come back and see more of them later. We decided to walk up and look at the stuff in the arena. That's where the majority of the stuff was. The arena was so huge and there were so many booths in here. It was a little bit overwhelming. We were looking at this little saddle for a bit. It was so cute and we thought that it might fit America, but I think it would be a little bit too small. Most of the booths were just tables with a bunch of stuff on them, whether it was new or used. I thought this picture of these horses was so pretty. I was looking at this hat, but it was $25, and I think that's a little bit much, so I didn't get it. There was a little bit of everything here, clothes, accessories, toys, house decorations, and of course tack was the majority of it, but there was just so much stuff here. I honestly have no idea what that is. My sister and I spent a lot of time digging through this big tote of brushes. Some of it was used and a lot of it was new and never used, so it was really fun to just look through all of those. The lady said that most of the brushes were about 2 to $3, which was actually a really good price, but I didn't need any of the grooming brushes that were in that container, so we didn't get anything from there. There were a lot of people that had dogs there, and I thought that was pretty cool. There were a ton of halters over here, but I didn't really need any. We definitely saw a lot of briar horses there too, and I thought this booth was really cool. This guy hand carves these bowls, and they are just super pretty. He was selling some chairs too, which was incredible. I thought these dog bowls were my favorite. We continued walking through all the booths. There was so much stuff to look at here, and it was pretty overwhelming, which made it kind of hard to buy something just because there was so much to look at. There were some really fancy things here too, like these show halters and these rodeo shirts. I was looking for some jeans there, so I was keeping my eye out for those, but there weren't really that many there today. Now this next area looked like a literal tack shop. It was huge and there were so many saddles and things being sold there. I think it was actually a tack shop and they brought some of the stuff from the store here because they were selling literally everything and it was all new. This is pretty much what most of these tables looked like. It was mostly stuff that people didn't use anymore and didn't want to keep it any longer. I thought that this painting was really beautiful. There were a lot of saddles being sold there today. And before today, I've never seen a hat case, so I thought that was pretty cool. At the next booth we went to, we made our first purchase. Getting that helmet? Before today, we didn't have a helmet just for Isla. She was always using mine, so I'm glad we were able to get her her own. This table didn't have any tack at it, but it had a lot of horse related things and that was the only rule for this tack auction. It all had to be horse related. We continued walking through all the booths looking for anything we might need. And once we made our way all the way around the arena, we went into the warm-up ring, which had a ton of booths at it too. The first area we looked at was in this trailer that someone had brought in. A lot of it was really cool handmade stuff. And they had a ton of really cool handmade stuff outside of it too.
I thought these little horses with their patterns were so adorable. This whole booth had really cool stuff, and again, none of it was tack, but it was all western related. These pens were really cute, and I thought these claw clips were so cool. There was a bunch of purses, water bottle stickers, and jewelry. At another table, we saw these massaging curry combs, and I thought they were pretty interesting. As I continued looking at all the other grooming stuff, Dad was telling me how he needs one of them, and then he decided to try it on Isla, and she thought it was pretty oh, weird. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, do Isla's back? How's it feel? I found this sweat scraper and I've really been needing one of these. Whenever I hose down my horses, I always have to get all the excess water off of them so that they don't overheat. And I think having one of these would make it a lot easier, so I decided to get it, but I continued to look at all the other stuff on this booth to see if I wanted anything else. And yes, I did decide to get one of those massaging curry combs. I just thought it would be fun to try out and I also got a mane and tail brush. I'm excited to try all of these grooming tools. As we were heading back to go over to the stalls, we saw those puppies again, and we saw that they were letting people pick them up and hold them, so of course I had to ask if I could hold one. They are just so adorable. As soon as I picked this puppy up, my heart melted. They are so calm and sweet and adorable. Of course, I wanted one so bad. I just couldn't handle the cuteness. It was too much. I had to force myself to put the puppy down and keep looking at Tack. So we headed back over to the stalls and started looking at all that stuff. All of these bridles are so pretty. And of course, we ran into more puppies for sale. These ones were poodles and they were also very adorable. Isla really liked these ones, but I think I liked the Australian Shepherds more. I did ask dad if I can buy one of the Australian Shepherds and he told me once I start making enough money to pay for the puppy food that I could. And so I'm definitely going to do that eventually. So subscribe and stay tuned if you wanna see when I get a puppy. And when I do, it'll more than likely be an Australian Shepherd. So they had hundreds of horse stalls here. So some of the setups were in the stalls, but most of them were out in the alleyway. We kept looking around at things and never found anything that we were too interested in that was for a good price. So we did one last round throughout the whole arena and the warm up ring and everywhere, just to make sure we didn't miss anything, I guess. When we were walking by, I saw these horse pictures and thought they were all so pretty. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with horse pictures. And then of course we had to say one last goodbye to the puppies. Dad was about to say that we should get one, but in the end he decided not to. And then we decided to head home. Okay, so we're back home now. I only got those three things, but that tax sale was so cool. I enjoyed seeing all of the stuff there and it was huge. There were so many people there. It was definitely kind of chaotic. But I had so much fun just seeing all of the stuff that they had there and those puppies. They were so cute. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.